Hey, welcome back. This is exercise two of seven. I'm Brian McLean with Noble Desktop in New York. And in this one, this challenge, we're making a Pig Latin translator. So Pig Latin is a language game in which words are altered according to certain rules. Move initial consonants to the end and add A-Y. So cherry becomes airy che. If a word begins with a vowel, don't move anything. Just add yay to the end. Apple becomes apple yay. And we're going to start with a couple of givens. We've got the five vowels as a list and some punctuation, common punctuation marks as another list. So given a starter function that takes English as its input, translate the English to Pig Latin while preserving capitalization. So if the input has the words Pig Latin capitalized, the output would have Igpe Atenle capitalized. And the punctuation should be preserved as well. So if the English has the word function ending in a question mark, then unction fe in the Pig Latin should also end with a question mark. And then you return the Pig Latin translation. So we're starting off with the, the defined function called pig latinize, which takes an English string. And we also start with pig Latin, an empty string. I just put a couple letters in there so we can run it and get some output. What you're going to do is you're going to split the inputted string into a list of words. You're going to loop the list of words. You're going to have a Boolean for keeping track of capitalization. If the word is capitalized, you're going to set that Boolean to true. Then there's going to be a variable for storing punctuation marks because we need to strip off the punctuation, but store it and then put it back later after the translation is complete. We're going to lowercase the words because we might have to move the first letter to the end and we want it lowercase. And then we would come back and uppercase the capitalize the word. We're going to store the, so we store the punctuation mark in a punct, punct, some variable, we'll call it punk. Remove the punctuation from the end of the word. And if a word starts with a vowel, we're going to add yay to the end. If a word is a consonant, if the word starts with a consonant, we're going to move the initial consonant or consonants to the end. So you have to check where the first vowel is in the word. To do that, we'll be looping the word one character at a time, looking for the first occurrence of a vowel. So when we find a vowel, all the preceding characters are therefore consonants and they get moved to the end. And then we add a y which would complete the Pig Latin translation. So you would break out of the loop at that point. And if the English word was originally capitalized, we would know that from the Boolean. And then we would recapitalize the word. And then we would put the punctuation back on the end of the Pig Latin word, translated word, then add a space to that so that we can then concatenate that onto the growing Pig Latin string with spaces between each Pig Latin word. And when we're all done out of the loop, we return the Pig Latin translation. So we've got five different strings that we're going to test the function on. And here are the calls all set up with the expected output. Of course, we don't have the code written. That's for us to do. But we do have a test, Pig Latin. We should get that five times. There you go. So it says split the inputted string into a list of words. So we'll say words list equals English, the inputted string dot split. And loop the list of words. So we're going to say for word in words list. So the words list is all that, all that English broken into a bunch of individual words in a list. And then we're going to go through that list word by word, every single word. And now we want a Boolean to keep track of capitalization. So we're going to say cap it equals false to start, assume false for a word. And then to check if the word is capitalized, a little trick we're going to do is we're going to say if you capitalize a word and it doesn't change, then it was already capitalized, right? Think about it. If you take a word and you make the first letter uppercase and nothing's changed, then it was already uppercase. That's the logic. So we're going to say if a word dot capitalize, capitalizing the word results in an unchanged version, then nothing happened because it was already capitalized. Then we're going to acknowledge that fact, flipping the Boolean to true. And now we need a variable for storing the punctuation at the end of the word. So we'll say punk equals empty string. And then if we find punctuation, if the last character of, of a word is found in the punctuation list, then we will set punk to be that character. Otherwise, we'll just leave it empty if there is no punctuation. And now we're going to lowercase the word. So it's going to be word equals itself to lowercase. So we do that, but not until we've noted whether or not the word is capitalized. That's why we've waited a little while, lowercase the word. So now we're going to check to see if the last letter of the word is found in the punctuation list. If word negative one, the last character, is in the punk list, 
We're going to store that punctuation mark in our punk variable. And now we need to strip the punctuation off the end of the word to get ready for the process of translation because we don't want the punctuation left at the end of the word and then add yay or a to the end of that, showing up before the a and the yay. So we remove the punctuation. We're going to say word equals word slicing from zero to negative one. So all the way to the end, except for the last character. And now we're going to check to see if the word starts with a vowel. So that would be if if word if the first letter of the word is in the vowels list, then the word starts with a vowel. And what do we want to do in that case? We just want to add a y to the word. Yay. No, we want to add yay rather. Now, if the word starts with a consonant, we're going to move the initial consonants to the end. So that would be the else part. So now we have to loop through the word one character at a time looking for the first vowel so we can take everything before that, which is the first consonant or consonants. We're going to go as many times as there are letters in the word. We're going to say word is in vowels. That means we found the first vowel. Then we're going to change the word to be the word with the consonant stripped away. So we'll start at I where we found the first vowel and go to the end that removes the consonants. But then we have to put the consonants back on. So starting from the beginning of the word, we're going to go slice up to the index of the first vowel. And then we're going to add a y. Tricky because now you have to realize that you must stop the loop. So now we have to decide if the translated word is to be capitalized. So we'll say if cap it equals true, then we're going to recapitalize the word. We'll say word equals word dot capitalize. And then we're going to concatenate the pig Latin translation onto the pig Latin string that we're building here. So that will be the word plus the punk punctuation, which is either an empty string or not. And then a space so that each word is not glued to the word before it, but has a space in between. And then we're going to return the pig Latin, which we could also strip to get rid of leading and trailing spaces. So right after the last word tacked on, there would be a space. So we just took that off. It's a lot of logic. It's a kind of hard one. I'm going to run it and see if the output is what the correct output is. That's a total match. So we're good. All right. We can check the first one, check the last one. All right. And we are done. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian McLean with Noble Desktop in New York.